Top 10 Creo Interview Questions and Answer Question 1. What is Creo and what is its primary use? Answer. Creo, formerly known as Pro Engineer, is a parametric 3D CAD modeling software. Its primary use is for product design and development, enabling engineers to create and optimize 3D models. Question 2. What are the main advantages of using parametric modeling in Creo? Answer. Parametric modeling in Creo allows for design changes to be easily incorporated by adjusting parameters, ensuring design consistency, and reducing errors throughout the design process. Question 3. Explain the difference between a part and an assembly in Creo. Answer. In Creo, a part represents a single 3D object while an assembly is a collection of parts and sub-assemblies combined to create a complete product. Question 4. What is the purpose of constraints in Creo? Answer. Constraints in Creo are used to define relationships between geometry elements, ensuring that parts and assemblies move and interact as intended. Question 5. How do you create a drawing in Creo? Answer. To create a drawing in Creo, you typically start with a part or assembly, go to the File, Menu, Select, New, and choose Drawing. Then, you can add views, dimensions, and annotations to document the design. Question 6. Explain the significance of the extrude feature in Creo. Answer. The extrude feature in Creo allows you to create 3D objects by extending 2D sketches in a specific direction, making it a fundamental tool for creating various components. Question 7. What is the difference between Creo Parametric and Creo Direct? Answer. Creo Parametric is a parametric modeling tool, while Creo Direct is a direct modeling tool. Creo Parametric focuses on parametric relationships, while Creo Direct allows for more flexible and intuitive editing of geometry. Question 8. How can you simulate the motion of parts in Creo? Answer. To simulate motion in Creo, you can use the mechanism feature. It enables you to define connections and constraints between parts to analyze how they move and interact. Question 9. What is the significance of the Bill of Materials BOM in Creo? Answer. The BOM in Creo is a list that itemizes the components and materials used in an assembly, helping manufacturers and engineers track and manage the parts required for production. Question 10. How do you import and export files in Creo to collaborate with other software or users? Answer. In Creo, you can import and export files in various formats, such as STEP, IGES, and STL, to facilitate collaboration with other software and users. This is typically done through the file menu using the import, and export options. These questions and answers should help you prepare for a Creo interview. Remember to tailor your responses based on your experience and expertise with the software. Hey everyone, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel, giving it a thumbs up leaving a comment with your thoughts or questions, and sharing it with your friends. Your support means the world to us and helps us create more content like this.